lovely beautiful soul my name is samantha if you've never met before and i wanted to take you on a little journey today i've been up shopping at the thrift shop whatever you want to call it for supplies for my embroidery i've recently started reteaching myself embroidery and have been doing some pieces for talismans like this one here with um, the beautiful barn owl and the lunar moth and it's got lots of poisonous plants so i'm really trying to um, grow my skills in that area and a lot of people ask me when I go through shopping like what's involved how you know where do I go and I go to so many different shops to find you know what it is I'm looking for so I thought I would go through the process today of kind of showing you uh, some of the shops that I go to and I'm starting off with going to Spotlight, which is not an op shop, obviously, but I needed to get some more embroidery threads um, because I do want to start making these for others and selling them in my shop. So I thought I'd get some supplies and I love creating art with intention and also for altar pieces that hold power um, that's my whole you know mission in creating talismans it's um, artistic things that are channeled with love and creativity oh my god i don't think i've ever had you in my actual house but look at my little rag doll there he's so cute so i felt like mcdonald's today i don't know what normally i tell you guys to get a cup of tea but today I'm having McDonald's. <laughs> I was craving the chips, I tell you. So this is the first op shop that I'm going to and it's Vinnie's. I love the shop, it's really massive and I've got two in my hometown. But when I went in there today, I found this really awesome uh, wooden vase that I thought would be perfect to put some of my orchids in. And I also found um, a little jar that I thought would be perfect for my apothecary because I have a couple of matching ones. So I always love finding, you know, vintage finds. Um, but the win of the day was this awesome big bag that I found. It is humongous and I fell in love with it. And this sewing bag would have to be my favorite. I actually feel like Mary Poppins. Um, it's massive. I carried everything, this whole pile of stuff up in this and it's got like a hard little lip here so it makes it easy. The only thing it's missing is I'd say the original button to keep it all together so I'll find something can make use of it but it's perfect for when I'm, I don't know, just doing anything, going picnicking, got all of my uh, embroidery stuff and I'm going anywhere. This bad boy is gonna be my new best friend, I think. The next store I went to was Lifeline and I managed to find some supplies for my embroidery. I was super happy with that. So I got this um, tablecloth square but I thought it would be perfect for embroideries. If you can imagine, it hooped like this and then the embroidery in the center. It's such a beautiful illustration. So I've just stopped to go to the next op shop, but it's actually associated with this beautiful church. That's the only church in my town that kind of is reminiscent, I don't know, of like the English, oh, the place that my heart calls to be. So I'm currently planning a trip to the UK. Um, and whenever, like I've been obsessed, I've lived in this town for like 20 something years, and I've always been obsessed with this church. I think it's because it reminds me so much of the architecture of, all the beautiful old places in Europe and the UK. So anyway, it's helping me manifest my trip for next year. <laughs> so this really nice photo frame, it's like super um, detailed on the edges. So whether that is for my wall, I have like gallery walls throughout my house and downstairs in my studio. So could go there but it also I might put an embroidery in there as well. I managed to find two embroidery hoops so this one was three dollars it's a big one and then this little one I think it was like two or three dollars as well but from Spotlight brand new these cost eight dollars no matter the size they're both eight dollars so uh, I can do bigger and smaller embroideries now. I bought this really cool black shawl what I want to do is some woolen embroidery. So I managed to find some 
actual <laughs> embroidery thread that is 100% uh, made of wool and I got a heap of different colors. So I kind of plan on having maybe some runes um, and symbols going down here. Uh, I was thinking maybe some mushrooms or something super cool. So maybe I'll have to update you later on in a few weeks time and show you what I made with this. This is the really big lifeline and I love visiting here. There's always some good treasures and they have this huge craft table filled with all different types of things. And uh, this is where I found the embroidery hoops for, you know, $3 or $4 or whatever it was. Um, and I often find you can find good uh, supplies in like cotton and embroidery things, you know, for two bucks for a whole heap of them where they're normally $1.50 for one little spool. Oh, that shop was so busy. I couldn't film very much, but I got some clothes and I ran into my sister-in-law, which is so awesome because I haven't seen her in ages and she's gone into the guide dog. So I'll show you um, in there now as well. So I'm obsessed with tie-dye, especially the geo patterns like this. I did this one with bleach on an old black dress of mine that was a really good quality dress, but I didn't want it to be black anymore. And I've ordered some really like high quality um, dyes to do some tie dye for my clothing. So I've been looking out for any white skirts or dresses. Um, and I found this one, it has some cute little blue, but I've ordered all different types of colors. So I've got some white things. And I also managed to find a tree of life in my size, extra large, and it's a little cactus uh, <laughs> little one. And I thought even this would look cool, maybe with the bottom down on here, all tie dyed or something like that as well. I am working on some really exciting things for my channel and for Patreon. They're taking up a lot of time. They're very big to film and edit. So today was just a nice quick little grab my phone. Let's go out on the town together and spend some time op shopping. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope it inspired you to go and check out your uh, local thrift and op shops because there's so many amazing finds and I really have filled my house with so many, you know, trinkets and treasures that are pre-loved and vintage from others. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check it out. If you want to head to my Patreon, you can join my coven. You can join my community over there. Um, check it out. I've got three different tiers. I've got a uh, beginner in spirituality, uh, classes that are monthly. I've got guidance throughout the month, readings, just lots of goodness. And I'm pouring all of my energy into Patreon to make sure it's really worth uh, joining. So I would love to see your faces over there and to connect with you. I'm sending you so much love and I really, really um, am very honored to have you here. So I will see you in the next video. Beautiful soul. Bye.